24 News at 9. The U.S. House of Representatives votes to formally impeach President Donald Trump, making him the third president in American history to be impeached. Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Chelsea Helms. In our top story, Fox 24's Kelly O'Neill live in studio with a closer look at what happens next. Kelly. Yeah, Chelsea, Wednesday was a historic day that sparked a lot of debate, but wrapping your head around what impeachment means and what it doesn't mean can be quite difficult. The House passed articles of impeachment on abuse of power, accusing the president president of pressuring Ukraine to investigate his political rivals and obstruction of Congress. But that doesn't mean that President Trump is out of office. And as of right now, he can still run for office in 2020. A trial will be held in the Republican-controlled Senate early next year. If Republicans continue to back the president, he will likely be acquitted, joining former presidents Andrew Johnson and Bill Clinton. A conviction would require a two-thirds vote on one or more article, but Republicans have displayed unity during the whole impeachment process. Not one Republican voted for impeachment. The framers of the Constitution really wanted to make sure that we were positive that we wanted to remove somebody from office. So what the House, in their capacity of actually voting on impeachment, does is serve as a counterweight against a Senate that would like to get rid of the president. But it's part of the checks and balances system. U of A professor Bill Schreinheis, who you just heard from, says right now this process is just as important as the election that got President Trump here because it could potentially remove him from office. And regardless of if you think that the president should be removed from office, understanding the significance of how we got here is key. Chelsea. Yeah, absolutely. It's been a months long process at this point, Kelly. Topping headlines across the nation, but there are other important pieces of legislation that have been moving forward in the meantime, right? Yeah, definitely. Today, the House passed the North American Free Trade Act. It's otherwise known as a U.S.-Mexico-Canada agreement. It's been a topic of discussion for more than a year. It's passed with bipartisan support. The deal now addresses digital trade, revises the rules for car parts to be made in North America. And Texas Democrat Lloyd Doggett says that the new deal makes significant improvements on workers' rights, the environment, and prescription drug prices. This victory results from major changes in what President Trump proposed 14 months ago. It means more jobs. It means lower prices for consumers. The USMCA trade deal now heads to the Senate, where it's expected to pass, and President Trump said he's ready to sign it. Also, for the first time, employees of the federal government will get paid parental leave. On Tuesday, the Senate approved the policy to give 12 weeks of paid leave to all new parents. That's both mom and dad. The United States is the only industrialized country that does not fed federally mandate paid parental leave. And finally, Congress passed a new law today raising the nationwide minimum age of smoking from 18 to 21 years old in 2020. That includes cigarettes, e-cigarettes, and all other tobacco products. But not much will change in Arkansas. Earlier this year, Governor Asa Hutchinson raised the age to buy tobacco to 21 by 2021. The legislation headed to President Trump's desk for him to sign. In studio, Kelly O'Neill, Fox 24 News.